in part five of the China series. We're exploring the massive Zhongyun International Project. The 1,800-acre abandoned residential and commercial development is located in the heart of Xuzhazhong, a city five hours southwest of Beijing with a population of 11 million. Now's a good time. Dee Dee. Sorry, person. Oh, of course. Of course there's someone there. Cementing. Should oh. we just go try to talk to them with Google Translate? That's probably the best way. Okay. Yeah. Let's just walk by and like wave and see if it says anything. Yeah. Let's go through there. Walking through the parking garage to an open area. This is massive. It's like a hockey arena. from any direction. Zhongyun International was meant to be known as the Venice of the Orient. Expansive plans called for theme parks, luxury hotels, high-end business offices, and environmentally friendly residences. Investors poured 17 billion yuan into the development, an equivalent today of 3 billion US dollars. However, construction was stopped in 2014 due to investment issues and eventual bankruptcy. Might be difficult to see my face, which is okay, I suppose. I'm trying to take some shots here. I'm resorting to HDR to capture all the dynamic range. It's really dark and really bright. And I'm shooting into a massive unfinished shopping complex. Uh, got four of the five HDR bracketed shots that I'm doing. Brian and Michael headed up the tower. I'm gonna follow them very shortly after I finish shooting here and get a view from the top. I think they're gonna fly the drone from up there. Don't wanna miss that.
I am now a proper people associate. <laughs> Gonna do a shot for them. Yeah. Looks kind of good on me, right? Uh, something like that. Okay. I think they're down there, time to get ready to shoot. Tiny little proper people way in the distance. This place is so big it's impossible to capture. There we go with the proper people drone again. Holy mosquitoes up here. Got some friends up there. Got a bit of an Escher's dream going on here. Stairs going in every direction. Some ending in infinity or something like that. Maybe not. So we've been trying to figure out what this part was going to be, and I guess is a theme park of some kind, or a water park, perhaps? I don't know. So I hear the drone, I just don't see it. There it is. Ah! Oh, I'm getting chewed by mosquitoes. A guy on a bike who looked like security with three dogs just came in, and now he's leaving. Four dogs. He's not leaving, though. He's just, like, standing over there. Oh, is he? Us, Let's go the other way. Must have, must have drawn some attention either All the from kids the kids. Screaming too. And, uh, yeah. and I was fine drone. But the yeah. kids were screaming. Yeah, the kids are screaming because of the drone, so they I think it's probably the kids. The yeah. And then I heard them say, oh, security or something. Oh, really? They said oh. in English. So oh, I didn't catch like, that. I heard security. And then they oh. all left. So they bailed. We should have bailed too. Oh, I guess that's what we're doing now. Backpack is dirty. Yeah. These places do have a lot of dust. And very little graffiti except for that over there. A little bit of stuff. That's a mural or something. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I'm honestly having more of a problem with the mosquitoes than the dogs. Yeah. Once we get far enough away from their owners, they might not go too far. From yeah. Just leave. Go up and say hi. Did it actually get your hand? I felt its teeth against my foot. Yeah, it bit my foot. Oh, well, that's not cool. It wasn't, it wasn't like biting to yeah. clamp on. Well, I guess that episode ended. That's interesting. Oh, here he comes. Oh, come on. <laughs> Go away. One last little scare. You know, if it's one dog that he size, really it's fine. Want to talk to us, so. <laughs> he was probably just trying to figure out what we're doing. Yeah. As soon as he sees the cameras and stuff, and yeah. I waved and said, I think I said, Nihao. He was fine. Then he took off, took his. It's like, if it's one, it's fine. If it's five of them, then you got a swarm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were really circling us. Yeah. All right, let's 
start moving this way. Sure. I think we're good. I feel like he was just a local, just coming in. No. That's do you think guy. he was secure? That's the guy Greg was talking about. Oh, really? He said this place is full of mean dogs. Yeah. Well, those dogs were not friendly, no. Let's go up these stairs right here. Oh, yeah. wait. They don't go all the way down. Let's go up these stairs. The dogs are back. We're going up some stairs. Yeah. Let's go for it. Let's just go. Let's just get up these stairs, watch the spikes. Watch the spikes. Spikes. One animal at a time. I mean, it could draw blood and you have to worry about like, yeah. fucking anything. If you go up here, we should be okay. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. This makes pike nurse seem easy. <laughs> Dogs and security. So let's expect the fifth wave of them coming back. <laughs> Chased by the hounds of hell. <laughs> Come on. Come and get us. Come on. We still have to go down at some point, that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Soon they will gain intelligence and reach this level. We will have to continue upward. Going up. level between us and the pups. They tried to fit all of them. Build all of the stories. It's so random too. That's the interesting part. Yeah, absolutely worth it. Here we go up the bridge. Sunset time, it's getting pretty dark. So this may be my last shot. Nice long wide shot of these escalators. And what looks like a more conventional part of a mall. I like to shoot in situations like this at ISO 100 on a tripod. So here's the result. Not bad. doing big grand structures but yeah. there's no real charm to them it's all very fake and yeah you want to stand by the flashlight yeah sure that would be a good one brighter that's good yeah like that Recent reports reveal that another company with a troubled financial history has taken on the project 
Superficial exterior painting has begun, but progress appears slow, and the company has refused interviews with news agencies. Will the Zhongyun International Project ever be completed? Only time will tell.